Okay, it's a super windy fall day, so hopefully you can hear me. But I'm about to uh, prime the V3 Scorpion pump. Uh, there's been questions of whether or not it needs prime or not. Uh, the whole point of Scorpion was to not need prime, but if you look on your Scorpion and you see a little plate that is in between the actual pump and the manifold, which you can see on mine, this right here, manifold, little plate, adapter plate, an actual scorpion pump. If you have that plate, you do need to prime it. Um, you only need to prime it once to accommodate for a four one thousandth of an inch gap, uh, and that's from straight from Jay winging that on the forums. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have two mason jars here, and I'm going to take my feed line and my return line. My return line I'm just going to put into an empty jar. And hopefully we should get some shooting back out of that once it builds up pressure. My feed line, I'm going to put a funnel into. Set this right here. And bear with me. Alright, funnel idea fail. I'm going to just try to pour the oil down in there. So, hopefully this works. If not, I'll probably just get oil everywhere, so whatever. My funnel was too big for the hole. I'm going to pour as much as I can in here. It's going to keep coming up to the top, but hopefully it'll work its way down to the pump. And basically there's air in there so you have to keep like working the hose up and down and slowly pouring it in so it goes down in there. As soon as it comes up, just raise the hose up, let it go down in there. It's fighting with air bubbles so it's like anything else if you're pouring uh, into a jug it's kind of pressurized down in there just because the air that's stuck in the system. Jay said you'd only need about a shot glass size. I figure I'm just going to go and try to fill this line all the way up. Don't have to worry about any more air getting in there at all. But basically the goal is just to get a film of veggie oil on that surface down inside there between those two mounting plates. Uh, you could probably also just take those off, take off the pump with the four bolts and uh, maybe just rub some veggie oil around inside there too. That probably wouldn't wouldn't hurt. I don't know if I'd do that. I just made that up. Um, but there's some guys that talk about putting like white lithium grease in there just to start it up. Um, yeah, kind of whatever you want. I figure this should be the safest. That's what the pump is expecting anyways. Smart people would wear gloves here. But I smell so much like veggie oil from this whole week that I don't think it matters at this point.
considering I poured about three inches or two inches out of this mason jar. I'm gonna call that enough for now. I'm gonna set my mason jar right here on the side and plug that hose into it. Try to touch my phone without getting too much veggie oil on it. And have your key ignition on. I already turned it on. Uh, I turn it on the beginning, let it set for about 15 seconds at least. That way the diesel fuel line's done. And then flip to manual mode. We should hear some gurgling and should hear some air pumping out. And then hopefully uh, it kicks in. Checking my pump is definitely on, which it is. My guess is that the oil I put in was not enough to get down here and to the pump. So I can hear it spinning but nothing's happening so I might do another video and take it off here at the pump and uh, try to pour it in right there. But uh, first I'm going to stop the video and I'm just going to do what I was already doing and try to pour more veggie oil in that line so maybe I can get it. I might also uh, take this feed line and uh, blow through it or put some compressed air on it too, just kind of push it down in there, that might help too. So I'll do a part two video with what I end up doing that worked, hopefully.